Uh oh. Who's this guy? How are you? What's your name? Brian Silva. My name is Emil Gilma. I'm the founder and the chief scientist of the Minda and the professor in Ben Tumon. Hello. Thank you so much. Hello. All right, so, 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 so tell, me, tell me what you got going on in your head here. So first, we were delighted to hear about your announcement in the State of the Union about the uh, uh, brain mapping uh, project. Since that's exactly what we are doing in my research in the university in the last 20 years, and that's what we are doing in Minda in the last seven years. So, uh, then we'll uh, present you our functional brain imaging. Good. So every uh, good mapping starts with a good measurement. So right. I first measure the brain of the uh, mirror, right. and it's, uh, it's 128 electrodes. Right. Our photon is the cap, and our how does that feel? Like your hair net. It measures the record. You have to presuppose that there is something to measure, right? Exactly. <laughs> we, we'll see in a minute. Oh, so no, so uh, it measures electrical activity, which are generated by neurons, so it's neural activity. Right. So clearly what we first see is that the mirror is alive. It's That's a good, good sign, it's a good start. Right. And his brain is functioning, and we measure it while he's performing a certain task. In uh, this case, a game which is uh, evoking certain functionality of his brain, like attention and memory. Right. And uh, while he's performing it, we measure his brain. So there's nothing new about measuring brain waves. Right. But our first uh, breakthrough is the ability to take these signals and separate the signal from the noise. Now the second part is going to the next uh, one, is the ability to take this code and decipher it into meaningful clinical information, namely millisecond by millisecond visualization or reflection of brain functional activity. So in order to demonstrate that, I will demonstrate it on traumatic brain injury and concussion, which is a very important topic and a, a cause of serious public health concern. And I will show you a 17-year-old high school football player who got a head-to-head -head, uh, head -head collision uh, during a football match uh, uh, and got a severe concussion. So looking at the uh, current standards, if you take his neuroimaging or CT scan, it's completely normal. Looking at his symptoms, which were very high in the beginning, but they are resolved within three weeks. And his neuropsychological or performance, cognitive performance, is pretty flat and non-conclusive, so he returned to play in three weeks. When we take, a, when we look into his brain with our DNA technology, looking at his brain networks, first looking at the baseline of a healthy net, we can clearly see that once he's concussed, you don't have to be a physician to see that something is really going wrong with his brain network activity. Right. So following it over a course of uh, four weeks, we clearly see that this particular 17-year-old guy... He should have stayed out for four weeks as opposed to... Uh, exactly. Because after three weeks, his uh, brain activity was not yet resolved. So what excites uh, clinicians and parents alike is the ability to really see what is going on in this person's brain. So uh, we have so some... So is this primarily uh, a diagnostic tool, uh, or uh, are you able to actually pinpoint uh, from, from, a, from a treatment perspective? Our, our, what we're showing you here is a diagnostic platform, but we have a treatment platform as well that if you see a malfunction, we'll try to fix it with a nurse stimulation of electrical current injected into the brain. But this is uh, the diagnostic part and the monitoring part. Right. And uh, we have some significant collaboration with the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, and in particular with the medical staff of the Pittsburgh Steelers, with the University of Michigan, uh, with Robert Kraft and the New England Patriots, and uh, also... Uh, recently, thanks to the introduction of uh, Dr. Kuhlman, uh, we initiated the research uh, with the Navy. Okay. And uh, also we are in discussion with Walter Reed, the uh, traumatic brain injury, Absolutely. in order to be able to uh, baseline uh, kids, athletes, and soldiers, and be able to monitor them once uh, rounded. Uh, so this is uh, very exciting for us. And uh, 